And we're live. Maria's already here. <laughs> She's quick. I just clicked it on, Maria, so you must have been waiting. Huh? Hovering. She's hovering. Hit that thumbs up, guys, while you're coming in. Hey, Jen, Cindy, Shelly. Hi, Tam, and Dina, April, and Kathy. Hello. Helen saying hello. Shauna and Brian, and Dar, Jen. Ugh, it's been a long day. <laughs> a long day of doing absolutely nothing. I took a chill day today. Ugh. I was kind of disappointed my bloom cracked a little. But after I resin it, it won't show up so bad. And it's just the white. But I think it has a lot to do with doing these on canvas and not on tile. Because mine on tile never crack. That was the first bloom we did. I love the primary elements in that. They're so shiny. And this was the second bloom I did where we lost a lot of the white. It sunk. I'm hoping when it's shiny again, it'll bring back more life to it. Jen Neal said her recent one cracked too. It's, I think it might have a lot to do with the weather too. Uh, this was Alan's injection injection very 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 dark so Blah. this will be a pour over for sure kaylee's here hey kay i missed her phone call today and then this was alan's quintessential pour and he's gonna do another one tonight a little different that's pretty cool there's still a lot of paint on this canvas it's not damp, but I can still feel a lot of paint on this canvas, so he's going to have to use less paint or a bigger canvas. Hello, Shirley. Hello, everyone. Hello, Shauna. Hello, everyone that's joined us that I didn't say hello to. Let's get down to business. Business? Business. Business. <laughs> Let's make some art. You may need to pull the, cam the camera up a little bit, too. I have it low from doing blooms. No, well, maybe not. Is that a 14 by 14? 14, 14. So we're going to try the quintessential pour again. It's fun, Jen. It's easier when we're doing a live to have the two of us out here so one can read and one can paint. Because if I was doing it by myself, I'd probably just do one pour. 
which you'll probably be wishing when uh, you start varnishing and resining. Tell me how many racks of paintings we have right now. <laughs> you tell them. I've yeah. lost track. We have three full racks that have to get varnished. I think that's probably why I didn't do anything today because I know I have to do those tomorrow. They are, Jen. I Sometimes I'll do one, but I put my iPad on um, this pillow thing I have and put it right in front of me so I keep an eye on the screen. But if I had to do this by myself with, with the monitor so far away, I don't think I would. <laughs> All right. Holly's got her. I'll be pouring paint. Yay. <laughs> Brian's keeping track of how many cups you got out here. He says you only have four. There's five. <laughs> you have the wrong cup for the last one, huh? It's this one here. No, nope, it's not that one either. What happened to those big ones we had? That won't work. Uh -uh. Okay. I thought I had some out here, though. Okay, you do you. Okay, we're gonna go with the WD forty spray in the cups. This canvas is in my way. <laughs> what canvas? Ah, Shelly. <laughs> oh, Shelly. Thank you again. Melody says her hubby helps with buying the supplies. She's lucky he participates that much. Uh, Antoinette says, Christina, how big was that one I bought of Allen's a couple weeks ago, just in, uh, just in case I called dibs again? 14 by 14. But that one's bigger than that one. Yeah, but you have to make sure the other cup's going to go down in it. So. You want a bigger canvas? No. I think you should have a bigger canvas. That's a lot of paint. That's what, a 16 ounce cup? Yeah. That's way too much paint for that canvas. Want a big round? Here, do it on a round. This would be 16 by six, 16 round. Change of plans. Save that for the next one. Okay, spray the cups. Paint choices. Still a lot of paint. Yes, Brian, that's still a lot of paint. 16 ounces on a 16 inch round. Do math, Brian. Tell me if it's too much. It is too much, but you're okay. You can pour a lot off. We have tiles ready tonight. Oh, it's interesting, Kim. <laughs> Brian actually did one that night or the next day? I think it was that night. Um, morning, Pansy. Morning, Pansy. It's right there. Maybe. Um, A lot of darks. Those aren't dark, huh? I would do a blue in there too for a contrast. Light blue or a darker blue? Like Carolina blue? Or the Sleeping Beauty turquoise? What about the Lucas Indigo on the shelf right in front of you? Down. Oh, that's it. Okay. What's the one below it? That's Lucas Indigo too. 
Oh, we have two of them. Got two of them. And you'll have white too, correct? This one, or no silicone. No, you want silicone. That one? Yeah. Yeah, I know, Bri. That's what I'm thinking, too. What's that? <laughs> 18 by 24 canvas. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, fix your camera, honey. Put, pull it up a little bit. Give them a free ride. There you go. Okay, so you want to tell them your colors? Color choices. Morning Pansy Shimmer. This is one of the Parage Passy paints. One of my favorite colors. The Lucas Mauve. Pronounced correctly as Mauve. Liquitex Brilliant Purple. Lucas Indigo Blue. And then our standard white with a very dirty bottle. Mm -hmm. Probably have most of my paw prints on it. Probably. Okay. Bye, Kaylee. Bye, KK. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is, last time when I did this last week, I only put one color in. What I'm going to do this time is three colors per cup. So I'm going to start off with the one ounce cup. Gonna go with the morning pansy shimmer first. And then something lighter. Liquitex brilliant purple on top of that. And then your white. And then the white. Yeah, what I'm doing is I'm filling those cups right to the brim. Okay, so then my next cup is a three ounce cup. And I'm going to go with the Lucas Mauve. 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 On the bottom. Then I'm going to take that first little three ounce cup or one ounce cup and drop it in the three ounce cup. Then I'm going to go with the Lucas Indigo Blue. And then white on top. Then I'm going to take my five ounce cup. Oh. Yes, dear. Oh, go ahead. Morning Pansy again. All right, Tammy. Take my three ounce cup. And I'm going to drop that right in. And it doesn't fit very well. <laughs> this ought to be interesting. And this is the problem that Brian ran into. But his did not get stuck. He just thought it did. Yeah. So this time I want to go, rather than with the purple, I'm going to go with the mob on top. And then just fill the base top with the white. Then I'm going to take my seven ounce cup. Hey, Vic. Then we're going to go with the brilliant purple on the bottom. I'm going to take my five ounce cup with the three ounce and the one ounce are in it. And drop that in. Push it down a little. Hey, Marcy. Then I'm going to go with Lucas Indigo Blue. I'm 
and top it off with white again. Then to the big cup. You have to put a base paint in that one, right? Or no? No, never mind. <laughs> He's doing what he's. I've coined. He coined. He's coined it the quintessential pour, which is five cups. A cup within a cup within a cup within a cup within a cup. <laughs> okay. Going to Lucas Marv on the bottom. Take my seven out the cup. Dropping that right in there, a little off center. I would have put paint in it first. But there is. And then I'm going to go. With the Lucas Blue around the outer edge. Take a stick and just move that cup over just a little bit so I can get the painter on the outside. Why is your comment faded? I don't know, Bray. Put the white around the outside. And I'm going to go with the Morning Pansy. Liquitex Brilliant Purple. And I'm going to just tap it off with Lucas Moff. Kathy's here. Kathy, Hello, thank Kathy. you for the stir sticks. They're like gold. Going to go blue. <laughs> she was so excited when she got that too. And lastly, the white for the topper. Did Brian do the math on that? No. So. I was going to flip it, and I decided not to. I'm just going to do it like this. Torchy. Right there, right Yeah, I don't want to touch this one. This one's clean. <laughs> <laughs> what are you scared? <laughs> yeah, I'm scared. I bought a new torch. He doesn't want to touch it. <laughs> I don't want to get paint on it. Just go poke a little hole. Little trick that I learned from Brian. It's a weird sound. It was weird. Just to release Jen just some of the vacuums. <laughs> what? Jen just posted chickens. Chickens. <laughs> Look at that thing just slide all over. Leave it there. Let it let it do its thing. Look how pretty. <laughs> I 
How are you doing? Cup number one. One down, four to go. Four to go. <laughs> it's mauve from Lucas. That cherry color. Lucas has some beautiful colors, and you can get um, Lucas through Jerry's Artorama online. Cup number three. I think those two are going to be stuck together. Nope. No? Good. Yay. It's like, which cup is the ball hidden under? <laughs> It's magical. Swirl around. Cup number four. You guys all have cold weather. Burr. <laughs> yeah, it was cold today. It was like 67. <laughs> today? Yeah. <laughs> They're talking like one. <laughs> Slippery. Last but not least, the little the one, baby cup, the one ounce. Now, one thing that I didn't do on the first one that I'm going to do on this one after I poke my hole. You don't really need to poke a hole. You don't think so? Uh-uh. Okay. So what are you doing? I'm just going to move this around under the pane a little. And there's a lot of paint. Yep. You have a lot of tiles. <laughs> I taped off 120 tiles last night. That down there is so pretty. Down where? On the bottom. Right here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Shell, I bought two cases of those Santoris, so I taped off one whole case. <laughs>
Don't be afraid to tell because you got to get a lot of that off. He's got a lot of paint on there. He's got to get rid of. <laughs> I think it's going to go, Shell. I don't want to lose your favorite spot. Oh, all that's going to open up when you tilt. You'll get more stuff. Oh, now they're all telling you which way to tilt. <laughs> tilt left. Tilt right. Trying to pay attention to what I'm tilting. Still a lot of paint. I would definitely push that mob up because there's nothing there. That push it off or yeah, open up that middle because I can see cells trying to come up through that purple. So we're gonna tilt it this way. Yeah. A lot. Let it run. Skins. I'll try pull some tiles. Yeah, we use um, silicone in all our paints, Jen. Too much paint, but let's give it a torch. Let's see what's under here. Torching it to get rid of some of these bubbles. under here yes how much paint you still got left on there quite a bit mm, not as much as i had <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> you're such a dork Pour some more off. What, what's everybody saying? Well, they love the colors. <laughs> yeah, it was the wrong finger. You're supposed to use this finger. What, that spot right there? Yeah. <laughs> Center looks like a lighthouse. So let's flip it around. Should I pour some more off? Well, let me, I don't, I can't feel it. See how much paint you have on there. Let, well, me, let me feel, because. I have a habit of leaving too much paint on the canvas. Yeah. Somewhere. I don't want it to crack, because that's a pretty palette. Yeah. 
Do you mind if I... Go ahead. I'm just moving it around to see. That's not bad. I mean, you could get away with it. Sandra says the big blue blob needs to be wiggled off. Well, there's stuff underneath that. I'm trying to get just a little bit more off here for him. Carol Kasky says, yes, pour off the top. See, but that's where we run into the problem of the cell stretching when you do that. So you kind of have to slowly move everything in one direction and then go to that spot to tilt. Janiel says, like, drag a cup for a design, like a flip and drag technique. But you guys, you should see all the paint coming off. So now I'll bring it all back. And this stuff here should open up. Yeah, the bottom will stretch too much, Brian says. Yeah, that's true. So I'm bringing it all back to unstretch those cells. And I can open up some here for you to torch. There you go. It's all yours again. <laughs> all right. Let's see what's under there. That last cup needs to be a little smaller instead of a 16, maybe, or a bigger canvas, I think. Yeah, bigger canvas, definitely. See how that's opening up at the top now? That'll change, too, as it starts to dry. I'm really digging that bottom, though. It's pretty. Get those edgies. Your tummy's crawling. Yeah. Still need to do a little tweaking on the technique and paint yeah. and canvas, but the quintessential pour. Skins. Piles. <laughs> Kathy Kirsten, it's so pretty. That should be my first Allen original. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Julia. So we don't like to waste too much paint. I do. Alan does, but I don't. So I'm just going to pour some tiles real quick. Are you setting me up? Shirley's like, I know, Jen, that waste is a no no. Yep, Brian, I agree. He said, smaller last cup and a bigger canvas next time. Well, that's why when he had the 14 by 14 canvas, I was like, ah, eh, wait a minute. <laughs> Let's go around, go 16. Gotta learn, gotta learn. Yep. Okay, so Sandra's got a question. Can you press smaller canvases on the drop-off paint? You won't get the design because you're dipping into it, but you'll get a totally different design. So what if you took a towel and dipped it? Same thing, right? You oh, get a different design. I'll show you. Well, I have to wet the tile first because there's not enough 
paint over here where I would dip. Julia says, uh oh, hus hubby saw me watching you and is wondering how much is it going to cost him at Dollar Tree. <laughs> You're right, Brian. Gotta crawl before you walk. So you really don't get it's kind of muddyish to me. I would rather like pull it and drag it across. Angela's here. She says hi, Christina. Watching. She's not in bed. <laughs> Hello, Chloe. Welcome. At least this way we get more color on the tile. I could squirt some white in there and do a dip, but that's just adding more paint to the puddle. Sandra Bet says, I'm blown away right now. In the two minutes I've been here, I've learned so much. Thank you. Anytime. That's what we're here for. So I'm going to grab this little puddle right here. I had some white in it. Now Shirley's calling dibs on the tiles. Shirley, I thought you had dibs on the painting. <laughs> she just likes saying dibs. I should say typing dibs. How Shirley? Glory says she loves that you're putting the drips on the tiles. Give me um, two more. Because I have two more spots I can pull from. Without getting too uh, muddied. So she wants the painting and the tiles, she says. And the purple painting, cradle board painting, too. <laughs> Antoinette's like, I guess I started something. <laughs> I need two more cups, boo. Oh, no. I got that darn song stuck in my head. So my 31 year old son thinks it's funny to do that baby shark song. So he'll come out here and he'll say, Ma. Mom, I gotta tell you something. Then it's baby shark. Doo, 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 doo. <laughs> well, I thought I got even with them this weekend. So Saturday I was out shopping and they have baby shark cereal. So hey, Jake, I got you something. <laughs> so he already got me today with the baby shark. Please imagine that, Brian. Michael's online, Jerry's and Amazon were out of stock on the Amsterdam White. Um, I can send you two, Brian. I got three. I'll share with you. You'll probably get it quicker, too. I'll clean up my mess now. Thank you. Did you order it, Bri? Oh, look at that one there. What? Oh, that is pretty good. I don't want it. 
<laughs> and you heard it here first. She doesn't want it. I don't want it. Just bang my head against the camera. Just a little? Just a little. So Sandra Betts says she's just starting and she's addicted to your videos. I pray I get brave enough to post a video one day. So afraid people will be mean. What do you have to say to that? I'll take it to heart. Blow it off. Good night, Kathy. Thank you for joining us. Okay, Antoinette's got a question. I have a leftover bottle of glycerin from my candle try day. Could it be used in painting and beeswax too? Hmm. I don't know. That's that's a good question. <laughs> Sandra Betts, because of you, I have squirt bottles ready as well. <laughs> Don't even want to touch on the squirt bottle situation here. A little frustration. Much frustration. Not for me, it was. Well, I thought I ordered 300. <laughs> so I went online, ordered 50, thinking I was going to get 50 packs. I got 50 bottles for the same price I paid for 300. So, of course, we sent those back today. Right, babe? Yep. I thought, yeah. I wouldn't pay that much for one bottle. Are you crazy? Shelly wants to know, did they all come in? Oh, they came in all right. <laughs> they were just wrong. <laughs> Brian wants to know, you've got clamps? I have clamps, Brian, but... I'm got. I'm gonna do something different with this. So I'm gonna do um, a traveling dirty pour. Um, I'm gonna use three cups though because I want to intermingle the colors together. And when I tilt, I'm gonna tilt this way and then this way. So hopefully this will work. I need to put an apron on. Yeah. There's an idea. Good idea. You want my apron? No. Yours doesn't have enough paint on it. Mine's mine's already paint coated, protected. Nothing goes through that. <laughs> so we're gonna use the Sleeping Beauty turquoise. And of course the Lucas Indigo. Now the Alan. Got it out. Angela wants to know, I hope it's okay. I shared in my group page on Facebook. No worries. I'm going to try to use up this peridot so I can mix up a fresh one. Jen Neal says, shoot, I have more paint clothes than that. <laughs> Everything I wear has paint on it. <laughs> Terry, you're buffering again. So I want to throw a little bit of this chrome green in there. Victoria is saying yellow. And yellow and gold. She's right. a little ahead of me. You're going to go with Christina's yellow? Um, no. It's not bright enough. Do I want to go with the Persian? I want some bright stuff in here. It's a bright orange. That's the orange yellow. I guess I'll go with the gold bronze because then it'll be a little darker. And white. Sandra Brett says, OMG, literally prayers answered by you doing this. I have been wrecking my brain trying to figure out how to even begin to approach this. All right, I'm going to use paper cups because they're easier to bend, to travel with. Now, if I don't use the third cup, we'll put it on a canvas. 
So just a little bit of white in the bottom. And I think we're going to go ahead and start with the lighter colored stuff first. Maria has a question for you. Did you get paint on your new jammies yet? Nope. <laughs> I haven't worn them yet. <laughs> I washed them, but I haven't worn them yet. i got to ruin a new outfit. No, I don't paint with my PJs on normally. Okay, James Farrell's got a question. Can Rust-Oleum Varathane water-based spar urethane be used to finish a painting? Okay, so here's the thing with that. Since it's not archival, if you've got white in your paintings, they may yellow. So keep that in mind um, when you're varnishing to try to get something that's archival. I'm sorry, Terry, you're struggling with this buffering. Okay. So now I'm going to go do it again. But sometimes when I do it again, I like to go backwards. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to hit a little bit of white. Okay, Brian says, what's the green there? Back to the Lucas Indigo. The Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. That's from our paint line. James said it says outdoor non-yellowing clear. Well, you could try it. Is it water-based? I didn't catch that part. Was it water-based? Um, this is a folk art peridot. Water-based spar urethane. Yeah, I could try it. I wouldn't. I'd try one and see how how it looks after about six weeks. This green here is the uh, Lucas Chrome Green Light, and this one is our Persian Autumn Yellow from our paint line. And then this is the Lucas Gold Bronze. That I absolutely love. One of my favorite metallics. I'm going to learn to make a color like that soon. Okay, so Joanne there's got a question. I have a ceiling tile to paint. What should I prep it with? Uh, you could just gesso it probably or just a paint primer. First, let it dry for a whole day though. You want those fumes to come out of the house paint. All right. James, let us know how you make out with that. So I'm going to start up here. Hello, Kathy. Glad you could join us. I am going to need three cups. Welcome, Kathy, in Tennessee. Glad you could join us. Didn't get my indigo on this one.
Okay, let me torch and bubbles out real quick. And then we're going to tilt, tilt, tilt. Got a couple people saying very colorful worms. Worms. Juliana says, I love the artwork. It's beautiful. So right now I'm just getting them together. Ah, that blue is under. Okay, we're good. And I don't really care if these have that matching line to them. I just want them cohesive. That's okay. I'll be tilting most of that off there anyway. Jenny Neal says slinky. Julie E says reminds me of the game Centipede. So I'm on a big stretch on that one. That yellow reminds me of mustard. I love it with the muscadine wine. She doesn't like it with her hot dog, so. I'm definitely not a mustard eater. Some thumbs up from Shirley Coffee. I just want to get that down there. And we'll balance it all back out. This one this way a little bit. Open up that blue. Now that white's going to sink some more down here. <clears throat> She's pretty crazy. The climber says this is very elegant looking to her. Antoinette wants to know, is it too early for dibs? <laughs> you guys know the routine. Just email me. Well, some of them might not know. Oh, well. Antoinette knows. Yes. Yeah. Vicki says she loves it. I'm hoping when I charge this here that this is all that gold bronze, so that'll be really shiny when it dries. April sent you a couple of hearts. Let's try this new torch. I bought this with uh, Sarah Max coupon code. <laughs> Is 
Tracy's and Colors says, Christina, would it work if you turn the two top and have them meet? Yeah, that and that. The only way I'll remember which way these go, if I did that so cohesive like that, was if I watched the video. So right now, after they're dry, you'll see different ways that you can put these. Because if I took, um, okay, let's try this. Take this one and turn it this way. And bring this one over here. They kind of go together better that way, don't they? Kind of. Oops, I just want to see if you have a little bit here to cover this corner. I like it better that way. Yeah. All right, I'm going to leave her. Just the way she is. Let's see how she dries. Kathy says it matches perfectly. And Mary Ellen's like, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, the blue's touching. Lisa says that way is super cool looking. Yeah, it's better that way. Becky wants to know, what do you think of that torch? I like that torch. Um... I'll, sh I'll show powerful. I'll show it to you guys here in a second. Can I do something right now? I think. Uh, we got a new toy, you guys. That deserves a round of applause. Gonna show them what you got. We're at Dollar Tree this weekend. You got clappy the hands. You I got, got clappy, clappy hands. hands. <laughs> to go with the finger, there's. <clears throat> Look at now, we got people giving us clappy hands on screen, Julia. So this is waterproof photo paper that will use these skins for jewelry. Okay. <laughs> Boys and their toys. That's yes. right, too. You got that one right for sure. It's just another something in the studio that I got to take care of. <laughs> Susan Color says, I bought those clappy hands for my grandsons for Christmas. There you and go. they had a ball. And they're 22 and 24. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Holly. Thank you for joining us. Get some rest. We'll see you next week while you're on vacation. Okay. Good night, Jen. Thank you for joining us. Jen Neal is leaving us. Good night, Jen. All right, let me wipe that off and I will show you guys this cool torch that I got. It's, you know, supporting other artists, I guess, like I like to do. Thank you. You pull that glove off. Thanks. I don't want to get paint on the handle. Not that it doesn't already have paint on it. <laughs> okay, good night, Julia. Late dinner tonight. Enjoy. Thank you again for joining. I don't want to talk about food tonight. Because I started my diet today. <laughs> All right. So Sarah had um, this Urban Crater Torch coupon code on her channel. 
I like it because the bottom comes off, first of all. It makes it easy cleaning because you don't have the grooves. Um, alcohol and a paper towel, paint gone completely. Um, you don't have to click a button to start it. It is slow starting, though. Um, sometimes it doesn't start on the first click. And it has a button to just let it run constantly. We don't need that for acrylic pouring. But you have to take the bottom off to fill it. So I got it for, I think, $11.90 with her discount. So check out Sarah Mac's channel and get the coupon code and get that from Amazon. Give her some support. And I think that's all we got new this week, didn't we? No, no, no. What else did we, we get? We're talking about toys. Oh. So, you know, Alan's got the little world's smallest leaf blower. So I got him the little hair dryer. World's smallest hair dryer. So he's going to play with that next. He's going to get his tools out. We were going to make it a night of using all of this stuff, but we need one more thing yet. <laughs> What's that other thing going to be? I'm not sure which one I want yet. All right. I know I want to try the hair dryer for blooms. <laughs> I think it will work. All right, Allie, what are you doing next with your little hair dryer? Don't you think I should shower first before I do the hair dryer thingy? You know, that hair dryer could have blow dry your hair. <laughs> no, that's not right. <laughs> do you want me to... Um, All three of them? Are you going to try a Dutch port? Yeah, I think we should. Okay, so... I need some paints to thin down for you real quick. Some paints? Yeah. Which ones? Like, I don't know what size canvas you're using yet. Well, I think we should use a small one. Right? Yeah, he needs to do a small one because he hasn't done one yet. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up some white for him. Can't do a 14 by 14. No, that's too big for you to start on. Another prep for my blooms. Let me just put a little water in there. So I'm going to make sure it's thin enough for him. Why do I see clumpies going in there? What? Kathy said she had the small sleep for her to go with it. He's got them both. He's spoiled. <laughs> As soon as I see something out there that he can play with on the channel, I make sure he gets it. Boys and their toys. Yep, boys and their toys. All right, you're good for a Dutch on that. Do you know what colors you want? Uh, not really. Why don't you help? What about, like... The emerald Those green. no, because we can't use silicone. Okay. So I have to pull from the brush posse paints. <clears throat> I'll pick you four. Go ahead. Pick me four. I'll pick you four. Pick me four. Do we have those other tiles out here? Those big ones? 
Yeah. Yeah, I stuck them with the wood boards over there somewhere. We're still in the reorganization stage. Oh my gosh, my studio's a mess. A hot mess. It's not that bad. It really is. You don't think it's that bad? It's not that bad. It was it was worse a week ago. Oh god, yeah. It was way worse Friday. To the point where she was about ready to scream. I was. I was like, forget it. I don't need a studio. <laughs> so when you're frustrated about like that. Well, the thing is, I can't climb a ladder and put things up when he's not here. And you know. Kids are useless to me. <laughs> they sleep when I'm awake and they're awake when I'm asleep. So I got, I got a four foot by five foot canvas over here. Yeah, I don't think it'll fit in the screen. All right, so I'm gonna have a little bit of Liquitex pouring medium in these too. Just a smidgen. So I'll put just a tiny bit of GAC, GAC 800. Since this is my first attempt, what do you think about using one of these? Canvas panel? I don't know. I think that would be a good exercise. All right, so then he wants colors. So we will use some muscadine wine. With a little GAC 800 and a little Liquitex pouring you. Brian said Mike lost his new favorite toy for two days. Oh, no. And then found it earlier today and went ape. <laughs> it. I'm glad he enjoyed that box, Brian. Maria's kitties love theirs, too. So, Joa B just joined us. She's like, oh, my God, I just got here. Is that what they're going to use? The little hair dryer? Yeah. We're going to try We're it. We're going to try it. Um, yes, dear. I'm thinking what other colors to go with those two. How about moody blue and turquoise? I like moody blue. I like the moody that'll give you that'll give you a purple. Oh, this one's ready next. So what's that one? Okay. Joy Meyer says their cats enjoy watching the video of Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's a cute cat, isn't he? He's adorable. Yeah, you want to put that one over there. And Kathy Perry wants to know: Do you use the GAC 800 instead of Glue All? No, I use both. I just put a little shot of the GAC 800 in there because it's more or less a pouring medium. Luol is cost effective. Let's just say that. And it works just as good as Liquitex pouring medium. Kathy Plummer wants to know, are you using primary elements? No. This is our line of paints. We could have used primary elements. Didn't think about that. But Alan's never done a Dutch pour before, so let's, let's keep it simple. I was preaching that today at work today, too. Keep it simple, stupid? Keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> So you Chris, want your paints 
really thin, not like water thin, but thin thin to do a Dutch pour because that dryer has to be able to push. So I like them just watered down. Um, Beauty in the Word says, I can't find the dryer on Amazon. Any link? I thought I put it in my Amazon shop. I may not have. I thought I did. Yes, Chrissy, I did my first pour, but we're, we're not going to call it a five cup whack. <laughs> the we, quint we essential pour. Yes. Thank you, Maria. She just posted the link. Chrissy, we're going to be thinking about you while you go through your procedure tomorrow. Mary Ellen. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Mary Ellen. If I keep kissing people, I'll get harassment charges. <laughs> Okay, let me get these out of your way. You get out of mine. Uh -oh. Emily, she said, hi, everyone. Just uh, whining. I can't master these enough to use a blow dryer. I'm here just in time. Well, well this, this is, this first is my first try. So, <laughs> If he nails it, that means it's doable, right? If I don't. Try, try again. And it'll be practice, practice, practice. You good? Okay, so this is your white that you'll put down on the canvas, but not all of it because you're going to need it to go around. Have you watched me do a Dutch? I don't think I have. Well, that means you don't watch my videos. <laughs> Dork. I'm working during the day. Uh huh. But then he calls me and says, Oh, I really like that video. <laughs> So you do watch some. I watch some. Um, I would say any hair dryer will work, but it's having that attachment. I have it setting here. You definitely want to have that attachment on the end because that controls your direction of your flow. So now Alan's going to try it with this little guy that doesn't have that attachment, but it's a smaller airflow so this may not work we don't know but I have two hair dryers in my Amazon shop that both work because they both have a cool setting you don't want to use heat that muscadine wine's a little thin I might need a little, little pad of paint for you. Just a smidgen. Just a smidgen. All right, you can get your canvas ready and put some white on it. It's got to be very thin. Okay, yeah, and pour since it all off as much as you can, this is my Don't first attempt at this. Um, you can also buy these. Um, it, it'll probably warp because these aren't made for acrylic pouring. But these are just canvas panels. Canvas panels rather than actual canvases. So it's a cheaper alternative than the actually going out and buying the canvases. So tell me. Just pour some on. Okay. We're really going to need more now because you're going to pour it all off. So just dump some on there. All right. So just tilt it all off. You don't want to leave any excess on there. So you want to just tilt, tilt, tilt. And that's that's a good thing to remember when you're doing Dutch pours too, is to get most of that paint off. 
That's just your base. That has nothing to do with um, the hair dryer. <laughs> Your belly's not happy tonight. We had a salad for dinner, so his belly's making all kinds of noises. The gurgling noises. Like, give me more meat. Chicken. Here you go. <clears throat> That's good. Excess pain off, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So now you're going to put puddles of color down. And because this is such a small canvas, you don't need a lot of color. And you can blow this way, right? So color. Yeah, I would do that one first and then this one. And then the gold the and then this, or towards like this. right here. Inch farther away than where I told you. <laughs> Need more nap, a little more nap. Because this paint is so thin. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Gurgle, gurgle for sure. I'm surprised you guys can't okay. hear it. Next. Right on top of it. Right. Or you can do a line across it. You're just adding that color to that color as well. <laughs> okay. Then do the gold. Dina's been hearing your stomach. <laughs> Sorry. It could be worse, right? It could be flagellants. <laughs> and then a little bit of that on top of that. It's not like a Dutch pour, so you can do a line across. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. So then with your white... You're going to come around your white in a circle. So I always pinch the cup because it's much easier. You want a little bit back here, but you want to double back here. Well, actually, you're more this way, so do a line this way and then a double line that way. And I'll tell you when to stop. Oh, my goodness, Al. Okay, and then double it up there. Need a little more there, huh? Okay, that should be enough. So with your blow dryer, you're gonna blow that white over that and then stop. Here okay. we go, world's smallest hair dryer. I hope this works for you. That's strong enough. You're right, it's not. You gonna try your leaf blower? Okay, so it's not strong enough for a Dutch board. That probably won't be either. Yeah, it's good. Don't hit the canvas. I wanna glide that paint over. All right, now you want to blow it back out with that. You're going to blow it out to a flowery look or whatever.
Matte with the white, go into the color. Blow it out, blow it out. You don't want to stop in the back. Give me muddy your colors. Okay, then put your tail. Come here. Come here and hit that out. I stuck my. I shouldn't have stuck the Liquitex pouring medium in there. I think that's how you get size. It didn't work, Sandra. It wasn't strong enough. All right, so look at your composition, and I know you can see where you need to feather out a little bit. Right through here? No. But this has to come out here. She's shaking her head no at me. Right here? A little bit on each side. And you can either blow it with your mouth, or you can use that dry, that leaf blower. So it was not a bad first attempt. Again, this was a canvas panel, not an actual canvas. That doesn't make any difference. Well, cost-wise, yeah. when you're first starting out, this is a good thing to try things out on. Or tile, because you can always wash it or off. Or tile, yep. Yeah. It could have used a little more color. I think you could have went a little heavier on the color. Do you have another one of those? There is. We'll do another one. I'll let you do this one, but maybe put more color on it. Let me set up a cup or something. Let's put it back here. got long arms. <laughs> I would not be able to reach that. Grab another one. I'm going to have him try just a little more color this time. More color. Yeah, the little hair dryer is a bust. It might work for Bloom Shell, I don't know. It wasn't strong enough to push that white paint over, so I will try it. Yeah, if you guys watched um, Brian's Bloom video, it's so cool to see all that paint get in his beard. <laughs> and I told him, put it in a pony. <laughs> I 
This first one is cute, Roxy. I'm going to keep that as this first one. Looks better than my first one. <laughs> I can. But you didn't have anybody. So Emily wants to see the consistency of the paint. So we want it to really just run off the stick, but not break. So you can see it's just a steady, steady stream, but it's more like really watered down paint. And on your colors, you want the same thing. You don't want the break, but you want it really thin. So this time, use more color. Do the same order, but use more color. Don't use the stick, just pour it. Okay. And do it fast so it doesn't sink into the white like it did. But aim for like right here. That's good. All right, now do your turquoise. And your gold. Oopsie. All right. And then do your line of red. Yeah. Pour it across. <clears throat> I'll put your weight down for you, okay? So I know you have enough. All right. So you want to come around it like once. And then you want to double back on this side because you want to push all that paint over it and then blow it out. So I'm going to bring it this way first. Yep, and then blow it out. And then that way. Got it. Now when you blow out, do it all in one swoop. Don't go back and then do it more because you don't want to muddy those colors. Okay. Really be careful. Don't take it from the bottom. Okay, and on this part here. You'll just blow this out this way a little bit. Well, we still got some you could color push, in there. You could push that out, yeah. The only thing bad about this, it's USB powered, so if you don't have a long enough cord... <laughs> You got a ton of cells, and that's probably because I put the Liquitex pouring medium in there. I can get a lot of color out through here, just very faint lines. Well, you can blow with your mouth and see if there's anything under there. I know you don't like to blow. Where's the straw? You're hilarious. Right here. That's too small.
Yeah, get rid of that gob you have right there. Which gob? This gob? Yeah, that gob. No, no, no. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> Going all the way to the end. There you go. Whoops, that took all the white, didn't it? And it had color going there. It's okay. There's color. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again, right? Yeah. Here it goes. One more, one more blow. Little all sink in the white. We'll see if those colors are there when it dries. Cause that white will sink some more too. Yeah, we Gloria, we have a outlet that has the USB port on it. The only problem is it's like four feet away from our pouring table, so. Off to the drying rack. We'll see what this looks like in a couple days. We'll bring it back on Monday. I'm really disappointed in that hair dryer, though. Yeah, because I think the only thing I'm going to be able to use it for, I me, mean, I don't even know if it's going to be strong enough to do a bloom. Maria, we have skins here. <laughs> I don't think she wants those. Do you want to use these colors again or no? No, probably not. Just set them aside though, and I, I may just throw them down on a canvas later. Okay, okay hon, what do you got next? Uh, what do you get up your sleeve? Wait, wait. Nothing up her sleeve. Up if you believe that. Well. Here you go, my dear. No, not yet. Oh. <laughs> Clean up your mess. You can't help it. I'm a guy. You're a guy. That's your excuse. I'm a, I'm a guy. Can't help it. I'm a guy. Emily says she's got lupus. Or the lupus is off. I'm so sorry. Acrylic pouring has been a lifesaver for her. It's a good outlet. It really is. Um, some people are stressed by their jobs, family life, financial worries. Medical. <laughs> medical. Yeah. It's a good way just to dive right in and forget about your worries until you're done. Yeah. Especially when every, things in everyday life, you know, just certain things bother you. Can it's I, a great can outlet. Okay, so I'm going to do a flip and drag. This is an 8 by 20. <clears throat> I think these are still the jugs that had the silicone in them. Because I think we're going to probably see little dots. 
So this is my base paint. I have videos on how to mix that if you're new. It's almost thin enough for a Dutch pour, but not quite. So if you go by the base paint mix, um, I like to say melted ice cream as consistency, but that's still too thick for a Dutch pour. Ice cream? I can't have ice cream. You be quiet over there. <laughs> Art therapy. Exactly, Gloria. You chiha bunch. Joe says, don't give up on the little blowers. She's modified hers and thinks it's going to work a whole lot better. We'll try it. We're going to, I'll try it for some stuff. Some stuffs. Yeah, that's the problem, Kitty. It's a great outlet, unless it takes over your house. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, could you imagine if I was doing this in the house? <laughs> I wouldn't be able to have anything. <laughs> Let's just put it this way. It took over my garage, and that's how this became the porridge. Yes, and it's the porridge, not porridge. A lot of people say porridge, and it's like, no, it's porridge. I put a, should have put an apostrophe in there. Okay. The last time I did one, I was on Payne's Gray, and I used um, some blue. You can really see the silicone on this one. See it? Little dimple. Yeah, you need, definitely need to wipe jugs out with alcohol after we have stuff in there. I washed jugs this time, didn't I? As a good girl, I washed my own jugs. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to spray my cup with the WD 40 silicone spray. This is just to release the paint. And when I do a flip and drag, I like to rub it in because I really don't need that puddle in the bottom of my cup. So I'll rub it into the cup. Brian says he's got a poracement. A poracement? <laughs> April says, me too, Brian. I don't have a basement. We had a nice basement in New York. That would have been a great place to pour paint. It was nice and warm down there. Okay, so definitely want to use a few metallics. I've got a rash. What's that from? I don't know. I want to use chestnut bronze. Kitty says so she's trying to de hoard her art so she can have her house back. Yeah, good luck, honey. Fortunately, she lives alone. <laughs> I'm trying to think what colors I'm going to use before I put this in there. Let's, okay, let's do chestnut bronze. Let's use our Parage Posse Purple Shimmer. Sue Johnson says, Rash? You're allergic to dieting. She is. <laughs> Don't know what that's from. Might be the new body wash I used today. I used a new one. Um, decisions. Let's throw bubble gum in there. I don't know what black, though. All right, let's do Sleeping Beauty Turquoise because I know that looks good with that purple. Fran Wood says, yay, I didn't miss it all. Darn work. All right, so when I do a flip and drag, I like to use a five ounce cup. And when I fill it with paint, I never go past the height of my pinky. So. Brian. When you're filling your cup, don't go any farther 
and right here. It's obviously less than an ounce of paint. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to give it just a little swirl. And I'm going to flip that cup right into the middle of my canvas. You can do it on one end and work your way down. I like to do it in the middle because I can grab color as I go and bring it back. Sorry, Brian. It's like, damn, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so mean, Alan. You can see the paint's falling. Um, there's no paint on the bottom of my cup. You can see the blue looking down through my cup. So I'm going to go ahead and poke a hole to release that suction between what's in my yeah, maybe. Maybe I don't need to. Because I burn my fingers. That's not going to make a difference for me, I don't think. Nope. This cup is being stubborn. Screw Thank you, Shauna. So I'm going to go ahead and just wiggle. So I like to glide on top of that black paint. Try not to scrape your canvas. If you feel you're scraping, stop for a second and readjust. If you drop all your paint, you can go right ahead and pick it back up. Let your paint set for a minute before you do anything else to it. Let it relax. Are you paint? So now I'll give it a quick torch. A bubble there. Now I'm going to stretch it out. So I can already see where I have more paint than others, but I want to stretch it out. Got a pile of bronze there. I have no movement on this side of the canvas. It's good because it looks like an angry bird there right now. It does. We're squishing it. I don't know if I like that chestnut bronze in there now. <laughs> I'm going to be blowing some of this off, so. Good point, Beth. She said someone had a good idea last week. Poke the hole before you put the paint in the cup and cover the hole with tape. Yeah. So take the tape off. That's yeah. The That's true. I've been doing this for how many years now? I've never done that. <laughs> I don't listen very well, do I? Okay. hard to teach an old dog new tricks. I'm going to go ahead and airbrush this out. Just grabbing those edges. And I don't like to do every single spot, but I like to pick and choose now what I want to bring out and where I want to leave. I have a lot of blue there, so I'm pushing that out. Go, you don't want to go straight out. You can go different directions. Um, black likes to eat your color, so make sure you push out far enough. Good night, beauty. Thank you for joining us. We're on every Monday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I have a lot of black hair, so what I'm going to do is bring this in and then push out.
I'm gonna flip it around to do the other side. I like to, <coughs> I'm sorry. I like to hold my airbrush like a pencil. That way you have a little more control and I always go at an angle. I don't go straight in. Yeah, Emily, that's that's the problem when you get into this. She says she needs an air gun too. More stuff. Yeah. I mean you can use a straw for this part. You don't have to have an airbrush. It's just convenient. It's quicker. Suki said she loves her airbrush from you better than a straw. Yeah. After if you blow through a straw like 50 times on a painting, you start getting a little lightheaded. That's when you know it's time to buy an airbrush. We haven't been doing a lot of flip and drags lately. I need to start doing some more. Absolutely right, Angela. Plus, you don't get dizzy. So I don't like this here. So I'm going to blow it up into that bronze because bronze is very dominant there. Then I can bring this blue in. Look at that. Now I know this bronze dries much darker, so I'm not worried about that at all. The only thing that is the blue and the purple. I'm gonna blow some of that blue over that one too. So her son is an artist also and he left his airbrush machine at her house so she's been enjoying it <laughs> i don't know what happened to it honey it was here <laughs> hide it <laughs> I'm going to leave that. Let's see how it dries. Right, so for YouTube, it says that came out beautiful, Christina. Thank you. Nate says gorgeous. Nate likes bright colors. Shelly says beautiful. Mary Ellen loves it. I can't wait to see what that does when it dries, though, because that purple will dry darker, too. Mary Ellen had to go out and come back in. She was wondering if you could tell the colors again. Uh, it was the Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, the Chestnut Bronze, and Parage Posse Purple Shimmers. Brian loves it. Yeah, skins. <laughs> Can't believe my mother wants black skins for her snap jewelry. Well, that's easy. <coughs> oh my goodness. So does anybody have any more questions before we head out?
thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank um, you, Joe. We love when we get some new peeps coming in and new fellas, especially new fellas learning to pour paint. It's awesome. Um, join our group on Facebook, guys, the Paraj Posse. We have lots of stuff going on in there. Um, all the information for ordering our paints is in there. We're still running the special. You can get the 12 shimmers. Um, they'll say shimmer on them. Uh, 12 shimmers with the reusable bottle. The eraser cap comes just like this. Um, with or without silicone. Or you can get the 12 jars, which makes two bottles of paint uh, for the same price. All of them, 100 bucks free shipping. So that's a really good deal. Um, we have it running until the 31st of this month. And then that will be it on that special. We extended it. We had it just at Christmas, but we extended it. What do you got, Alan? Oh, the skins from last week. Can't see them. So these dried really pretty. Maria. Good night, Sherry. See you next Monday. Good night, everyone that's heading on out. So we'll be here again next Monday at 9 p.m. Not sure what we'll be painting yet. We haven't decided. But... Um, in the meantime, if you have questions, don't be afraid to ask. You can reach out to me on Facebook or through email, ChristinaWelchArt at Yahoo.com. Or you can hit me up through my Facebook page, Christina Welch Art. Um, we have an auction coming up the end of this month. I haven't picked a date yet, so Maria, I will let you know on that. Um, and then our next auction will be in March. And that is going to be to benefit St. Jude's Hospital. So 75% of our profits will be going to St. Jude's. And it will be from all of us in the Paraj Posse, not just from Ellen and myself. It will be from all of us. There was a question from Mimi. Besides jewelry, what could you use the skins for? Um, you can cut these into shapes and use um, gel medium and design a painting with just skins. Um, I've seen them done. I've seen people paint a tree and then cut leaves out of these and put leaves all over the tree with different skins. It's really pretty, by the way. Um, there's a lot you can do with these. I had We had one girl in the group that was making roses out of skins. I don't know if you could do it with the paper ones, but they were magnets. pretty. Magnets. Yeah, we do magnets. But there's just so many uses for these. And it's all the runoff from your paintings. It's not wasting your paint that way. We save it and do as much as we can with it. So, yeah, I've, I... Um, Flip and drag is just a little bit of paint. Julie does a, I call it a flip flop <laughs> slab. I don't know. But these are the magnets that we make with the skins. We have, we have lots of them. Some of them are pretty cool. So there's lots of things you can do with your skins. I really like this one. Oops, this camera has got me a little goofy today. But. So we will let you guys go and um, make sure if you're looking for supplies, check out our Amazon shop. Uh, we no longer have a code for Stone Coat. Um, he stopped the affiliation program, but all of his products are available on Amazon. And you can get those through my Amazon shop. So we still will make our little bit of affiliate money on that if you buy them through there. 
So I think it's the best product I've ever worked. It is yeah. the best resin that I've used. So I don't plan on switching, that's for sure. Unless they quit making it. <laughs> so we will see you all next week. Have a great week and watch for upcoming videos this week. We'll be putting some out this week. And um, don't forget to get a hold of me if you have questions. So thanks so much for watching, guys. And we'll see you all on the next one. Good evening. Bye now. <laughs>